This is the MAC travel bag and I love this. Mine's getting a little beat up, <laughs> but I really, really love this bag. I feel like I can pretty much pack my whole entire life in here. And I have just like a little hand sanitizer attached. And I love that it has these side pockets. Love how organized this keeps me. So you have one side pocket in here, which I just carry a mirror. And then on the other one, I don't think I have anything in here. There's just like a little net, I guess, that goes inside of it. But I don't really keep anything inside of there. Sometimes I'll keep like my phone, gum, and things like that if I'm not going to bring a purse with me. But today I'm going to be bringing my purse. But sometimes I'll keep like my wallet and stuff like in one of these pockets and just bring this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I pack. So this is what the inside looks like. You get these plastic organizers that detach and I love them because they keep you really, really organized. So what I do when I'm packing is I start off by thinking about my own makeup and I always start off with primer. So I first pack my primers. So that's what I'm gonna grab right now. I like to pack primers for oily skin and for dry skin. So we have MAC Time Check Lotion for um, dry skin. I have Dr. Brent Pores No More for kind of just like anybody's skin. It's a great primer for minimizing the appearance of pores. We have Benefit Pores. Professional again another poor kind of minimizing primer and this one too This is the Tarte clean sleep timeless smoothing primer This one does a little bit of mattifying and I like that and it really helps with the size of pores And this one's great for oily skin. This is the hourglass mineral veil good for normal to oily skin Really great for mature skin or anyone who has acne because it really just helps so this is just my primers I also pack some skincare, so I pack the L'Oreal Age Perfect Facial Oil in case they have dry patches. Bobbi Brown, this is just um, hydrating face cream. This one's from Lancome, also another face cream, and then a baby eye cream from Tatcha. I always carry this guy, Fast Response Eye Cream, because it helps with um, under the eyes, like if they're dry, and also to clean up eyeliner. Now, I don't know the shade of my bride because we actually didn't do a trial, so I'm going to bring a couple of shades of the Too Faced Born This Way. I have Porcelain nude honey and golden these are four shades that I feel like are really great range I love Too Faced Born This Way especially for my clients I feel like it just looks really really nice effortless hairbrush so I'm just gonna pack that in the same compartment as my face stuff I'm gonna bring these dark foundation shades as well that I could always mix them in so I'll pack those and these are from Urban Decay Naked and I love this foundation as well really really flawless then I skip over to kind of like palettes, so I'm going to be bringing this one. This is the Tarte Big Blush Book. I love it because you get every type of blush, so this is super handy. I'm going to bring this little Z palette, which is like my wedding Z palette. I love this holographic Z palette. And these are all MAC eyeshadows that I just picked. I thought were great for brides because I really like pink and champagne shades. She sent me a picture of what she wants. It's kind of like a smoky eye, like a, kind of something like this and then darker colors in the crease. Pretty simple, so I'm gonna bring that. I'm gonna bring my LA Colors I Heart Contour Palette because I love this to contour. This C palette is kind of busted, but these are all of my favorite. Anastasia Shadows, MAC Shadows. This is like my go-to palette. Also Makeup Geek, kind of busted, but I still love these shadows. So this I always, always, always bring with me because I have an array of neutrals that really work for every skin tone. So I love this palette. I always bring that. I can't forget my Anastasia Brow Palette. You get every single brow color that you would ever need. I'm going to bring this palette, also a Z palette, again, neutrals because that's the colors that she wants and I want to just have enough because I'm doing her, her mom, and her sister. So, bringing tons of colors and I know that the sister wants like a Khloe Kardashian look and it's like a really neutral eye as well. So, I'm not bringing colors, like colorful palettes this time, just neutrals because I already know the looks that they want. You can pack a lot smarter if you know what look they want in advance. So, I'm going to go ahead and pack these. I'm also going to bring this MAC palette that has... Couple colors like Emphasize Sculpt, Shadester, Peaches Blush. I love using peaches on my bride. So this palette is kind of excessive, but I really like these contour shades. I'm gonna go ahead and pack that. And then I'm gonna bring Becca Champagne Pop. You get Champagne Pop, Pearl, and um, this, like bronzy coppery color. Perfect highlights to mix together, and it's really compact, so I like that. I'm gonna pack that on the side here. And then I'm gonna bring this RCMA foundation palette. You get tons of colors. You can use this to cream contour, you can use this as foundation, as concealer, and I love this. This will be like a savior if you don't bring the right foundation shade. You can always customize it with this. This color is great for contouring the nose. Love this palette. It's a little pricey, mine's a little busted, but you know. 
we're just gonna pack it. Next up we have powders. I'm bringing the RCMA No Color Powder. This is what I used to bake in my last bride video, bridal video. So I'm gonna pack all my powders in this pouch. Even though I'm already bringing the Champagne Pop Highlight, I'm gonna bring a couple of extras. Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, Kiko 208, Can't Forget Laura Geller Gilded Honey, and some Mirabella. So I'm gonna put these in my powder section. Since I am doing bridal makeup, can't forget these Hourglass Powders. This one is in Luminous Light. Perfect as kind of like an all over glow. Doesn't give you that like shimmery highlight, but I love it on brides. And then these two are also Hourglass Palettes. This is a blush palette from Hourglass and this is their ambient lighting palette. I love these also for mature skin if they don't want like an intense highlight. These are great because they're finely melt and they look really, really flawless. Mine are real dusty. Hourglass is a great brand for wedding makeup or just like natural everyday kind of makeup. So I'm going to just put those in there and I'm missing bronzer so I'm about to bring some bronzers. The MAC palette does have a bronzy color and the LA Colors also has a bronzy color but I'm going to bring some bronzers just in case. Bobby Brown Golden Light, one of my favorites. MAC Give Me Sun and then MAC Mineralized Care Blend Powder in Dark. Now it's time for eyeliners, mascaras, and lashes. I always pack some Coco Lashes so here are some Goddess. So I'm going to pack two pairs of goddess lashes. I always pack my lashes in one of these compartments. Then I'm going to bring one Amore and one Foxy just in case because I don't know their lash preference. I'm also going to bring some more simple lashes. We have these which are the Kiss Daisy Lashes. We have some Demi Wispies. We have some Dodo Lashes, Dodo Lashes, D105 and D106. These are really great. Affordable lashes. I have coupon codes for Dodo Lashes down below. They're like five bucks a pop. Can't beat that. Those are all of my lashes, and since we're packing lashes, we cannot forget lash glue. Mine is a little janky, but this is the Revlon Lash Adhesive. I'm going to put this in one of these little guys. Some scissors and this MAC lash applicator. Can't forget a tweezer just in case. Sometimes you have that random chin hair that you need to pull out. We got some spoolies, mascara spoolies. I have a Kiko sharpener. Some mascaras. I'm going to put the mascaras here because they are long. Also going to pack some black, brown, and white eyeliners right in here. Shadow primer. This is going to go in this pocket. Glitter adhesive. And I'm going to put the primer potion in this other guy. In this container, I'm also going to put MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pots. Some brow gels. This is medium brown, soft brown. Um, this is the Inglot 77 liner. Love that stuff. Now it's time for liquid lipsticks. And I'm going to pack some nude shades, some darker shades, red shade. So just like... An array of nudes. I have Galactic, ColourPop, Anastasia, and I always like to bring colors like this in case the client or the mom or anyone isn't too comfortable with like a light nude. You want to bring some more like berry tones. You could always mix them with nude colors and it looks gorgeous. So lip colors are there. Also going to bring some NARS Audacious lipsticks in kind of like deeper colors as well as these two MAC lipsticks in Whirl and Faux which are a little bit darker just in case they want something not as drying. I'll put in regular lipsticks in there. Just bringing in a couple of lip liners in here as well. Then I kind of just go over my list and see what I'm missing. So I have eyeshadows, I have contour, I have lashes, I have lash adhesive, I have primer, foundation. I know what I'm missing, concealer. I'm going to bring some concealers in my liquids section. You could always use the RCMA foundation kit as concealer, but since I do have concealers, those are the Makeup Forever concealers, and I'm going to pack some glitters and glitter liners in here. So this is MAC Melon. I love this as a highlight and as a shadow. I have this Makeup Forever Diamond Shadow. Love this. I have Kat Von D. This is a great eyeshadow. I love it as an inner pop of like highlight, and this is in Thunderstruck. I have MAC Vanilla Pigment. And then two Violet Voss glitters. One's a Copperella color. It's like a copper. And then this one is in Noel, which I really like. It's a perfect gold and silver glitter. So I'm going to pack that in here. So we have our adhesive. We have glitter adhesive, concealer, highlights, blush. I can't think of anything else besides brushes and beauty blenders, which I'm about to pack. And I'll show you how I also pack that. This is also from MAC. I love this brush belt. I never use it as a brush belt, but it's an option. So I go ahead and pack my eye brushes first. So I'll do my cream kind of product brushes on this side and then on this side I'll do my crease brushes. I really like to keep this organized because when you're doing more than one person and you're using like all of your brushes up, you need to know exactly where to look, where to find them. So I just kind of pack them randomly 
you know, just put them in the pockets. You need some small detail brushes. You need brushes like this that are angled to contour the nose. This one here. You need pencil brushes. You need eyebrow brushes, eyebrow brushes. If you're doing three people, make sure to bring three eyebrow brushes. So here's one. I like to keep my eyebrow ones right in the middle. This is a nice fluffy brush for the crease. We have angled brushes. I mean, you guys get the gist, right? Just pack, pack, pack. So make sure to pack enough crease brushes for every single person, enough eyebrow, enough everything. So I like to have triples of br brushes that I really like. This is how it looks all packed and ready to go. I have my face brushes in the back. Highlight brushes, eyebrow brushes, crease brushes, tons of brushes. So what I do is I just fold this up, wrap this around, and I will put this right in the middle. It will close with this in it. And then I'm also going to be carrying an empty brush butt with me. So when my brushes get really dirty, after I've used it, I put one in here. And this one is from Paradise Cosmetics. I really like that it like wraps up. It's like really nice quality also gonna pack some lip balm my color switch duo from veramona also gonna be bringing this softening lotion from mac i use this on every single client always no matter what type of skin they have i feel like this is my secret weapon that in there and i heard it's getting discontinued urban decay all nighter spray and the pixie by petra makeup mixing mist so i'm gonna go ahead and pack that in here also gonna pack some duck clips for their hair makeup removing wipes Huggies. Also gonna bring some foundation mixing plates slash palettes, whatever you wanna call them. And my beauty blenders. One, two, three for my clients. And I always pack one extra just in case. And maybe just two extra, just in case. You just never know. And then I always carry another Ziploc to put the dirty ones in so that they don't cross contaminate, you know? If you're going from client to client, it's so important to bring another extra Ziploc or maybe two extra Ziplocs so you don't put your dirty ones with the clean ones. And then I always bring a supermarket bag for garbage. Also, a pair of Lily Lashes for my bride in here. See, this is what I do. I go like back and forth because you have to always remember to pack everything. So, again, going through the checklist, I got primer, I got foundation, I got concealer, I got powder, I've got contour. I've got luminizers, glitters, glitter adhesive. I have all the tools that I need, beauty blenders. Pretty much, that's it. Don't ever forget to pack some gum for yourself and some hair clips and hair ties for yourself as well. Also, don't forget a towel as well as business cards. Just in case, usually the photographer will ask you for a business card or anyone else who's there. So business cards and a towel are also a must as well as any lighting, if you're gonna bring lighting or a chair. Today I'm doing three people. I'm probably not gonna bring my chair or my lights because it's a sunny day, seems pretty good out. So I'm gonna bring my speaker, some sanitizing wipes, um, my phone, my camera, water bottle, and that's it. Finito. Caught up in my, caught up in my day.